All right, so the draw for Cincy has just come out, and it's on the men's side. It's a big, big draw, and we've got massive names playing. It's almost full US Open preview event at this point, and it should be because it's a 1,000 event. It's worth a lot of points. Let's go have a look at who's not playing because there are some key names that are missing out. So only a couple of players are pulled out of this event, starting with Bublik. He has pulled out. Novak Djokovic, of course, he's not playing. Uh, after winning the gold medal, he's probably still partying and having a good time and probably going to be at the ceremony for the Olympics uh, ending ceremony. And then Demonor also pulling out uh, due to injury so that's a little bit of a shame there that uh, Demon still can't get back after that injury that happened at Wimbledon of course he was supposed to play Djokovic at Wimbledon back then but uh, the hip injury is still going on and Cam Norrie he's also pulled out of this tournament unfortunately not being able to play in this one as well so not too many names but there is a few big names there of course not playing at this year's event okay so let's start at the top of the draw we've got 16 seeds in this one and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round Yannick Sinner number one in the world gets a buy in the first round he'll take on the winner of either a qualifier or Greek sport in the second round. Then you got Giron taking on Baez. Winner of that will take on either Thompson or the number 13 seed Umber in the second round. Uh, then you got Fritz, number 11 seed, taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Feast in the second round. Then you got Zhong taking on Pirikad. Winner of that will take on the number 6 seed Rublev in the second round. Interesting little draw. Obviously, Greek Spore Sinner, we've seen them play a few times this year. I think Greek Spore's won a few sets off Sinner as well, so that could be a bit awkward in the second round. Rublev, of course, trying to get back into some form after a disappointing couple of months. But uh, you gotta watch out for Sinner, obviously, in this set of the draw. You gotta watch out for Rublev as well. I'd be watching out for Fritz. Played pretty well in Cincy last year, despite getting, you know, beaten up by Djokovic in the end, but would be watching out for him as well. Uh, and I'd also watch out for Umber because he can come good, Umber, uh, the number 13 seed. Didn't have a great week last week in Canada, but he can come good and is dangerous on hard courts. Second part of the draw, we've got the number three seed Zverev gets to buy in the first round. He'll take on either Hashinov or Sarundalo in the second round. Then you've got Purcell taking on Mahatch. Winner of that will take on either uh, Carino Busta or the number 16 seed Korda in the second round. korda has been in some really good form, so we'll talk about him in a second. Then you got the number 12 seed, Shelton, taking on Opelka. What a fire first round. I mean, three tie breaks. <laughs> That's going to be tie break central. Aces all round. Winner of that will take on either Echeverry or Inaldi in the second round. Then you got Marijan taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Interesting draw again. I mean, this is uh, there's some key names there that you should obviously keep an eye on, but this could be a bit more competitive, this section of the draw. Got to watch out for Zverev. Obviously, got to watch out for Dimitrov as well. Has won since he before. In fact, that's his one of his biggest trophies in his cabinet. Got to watch out for Seb Korda. Great form at the moment. Just beat Fritz in Canada, one in Washington. He is the man right now when it comes to uh, playing on this surface, on the hard courts, since coming back after uh, after the Olympics. But very interesting little section. And of course, this section will take on the Sinner section. So we could be getting Sinner versus Verev. If we want to go with the big names, or maybe Sinner versus Dimitrov in a semi-final. If you want to go with those guys, or if you want to change it up a little bit and go with uh, maybe Sinner versus Korda, because Korda, of course, has been in great form. You don't think Sinner's going to get there? Maybe you want to go with Rublev taking on Zverev, or maybe Rublev taking on Dimitrov, or maybe you want to go something a little bit random. And this one's for the Americans. Maybe Fritz versus Korda. They might make the semis if they both have a good run at home. But very fun draw. And uh, there are key names, but you, you probably expect the big names to get through in the top half. Bottom half of the draw, you've got the number five seed, Herkatch gets to buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or catch Menovic in the second round. Then you've got Tabilo versus Dadiri. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number 10 seed, Paul, in the second round. Then you've got the number 14 seed, Musetti, taking on Jerry. Winner of that will take on either Fakina or Tiafo in the second round. Then you've got Lehechka taking on Navone. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Medvedev, in the second second round. This is going to be fun. Medvedev needing some form. Her catch playing well this week, despite coming back from a knee problem. Paul needs to win this week as well. He had a terrible week last week in Canada. So you've got to watch out for Medvedev. Got to watch out for her catch. Got to watch out for Paul. Got to watch out for Musetti. First match back since uh, winning the bronze medal at the Olympics. Got to watch out for him. Uh, I'll also keep an eye on Tiafo and also Lehechka. Lehechka coming back from a back problem. He was great before he got injured on the clay court. So Lehechka, good to see him back. Hopefully he's back, uh, back to what he was. But uh, this section could be really open based on what we've seen in the last couple weeks. In the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number seven seed, Rude, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either the winner of Ojeli Asim or a qualifier in the second round. So FAA versus Rude, very fun second round potentially. Then you've got Draper taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Struff or the number nine seed, Sidzi Pass. That is a banger first round match. Then you've got the number 15 seed, Runa, taking on Berrettini. Speaking of banger matches, crazy first round match. Winner of that will take on either Manorino or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Monfils taking on Poprin. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Alcaraz in the second round. Tricky stuff for Alcaraz. Very tricky draw for Alcaraz. Obviously, you got to watch out for Alcaraz in this section. Watch out for Root as well in this section. And Sidzi Pass there as well. you got to watch out for him. Needs to get uh, have a good run after last week. Uh, obviously, lo you know, stopped working with his dad as a coach. Going coachless as far as we know in Cincy. So, really keen to see what he does this week. Uh, also, got to watch out for Runa and also Berrettini. Uh, whoever wins that match, I mean, they could trouble Alcaraz. We've seen that in the past. I also watching out for Popperin as well. He's been really, really good this week in Canada. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Medvedev-Zverev section. So, we could 
we're getting Elkris versus Medvedev in a semi-final. Would you want to go with that? Or maybe Elkris Paul, which has always been a banger when it's in the uh, North American hard courts. Maybe you want to go with uh, Elkris versus uh, Hercatch. Also been a great match over the time. Uh, they played a really good match here last year. Or if you think it's not going to be uh, Elkris, maybe you want to go with Rude versus Medvedev or Rude versus Hercatch. Uh, if you want to get something really random, maybe a City Pass versus Medvedev. We know how fun it is when those guys play. But very interesting section of the draw. Very interesting draw in general. Cincinnati, it's the biggest warm-up of the American season. Of course, a lot of players not playing in Canada this week, so Cincy is their last chance. But let me know, who's going to win Cincinnati? Are you going to go with uh, Elkrez going one better than he did last year after losing to Djokovic in heartbreaking fashion? Maybe Yannick Sinner keeps going on the hard courts this year. They're the two favorites for sure. But very fun draw. We're going to be watching a lot of Cincy next week.